Leo Varadkar is a politician who gets things done. As Tisha, he worked hard to get so many things done, and as Tisha, he worked very closely with his cabinet colleagues, and he was always informed. He was solution-focused and was always determined to find a solution, even in the most difficult of circumstances. He took his mandate as Tishi very seriously and at all times was conscious of the enormous responsibility placed on his very young shoulders. Leo does not wear his heart on his sleeve, but that does not diminish his passion to serve all of the people and does not diminish his ambition to get things done. The politics presented to us tonight is the rawest and most fundamental form, the politics of power. The real priority political issues of the day are sidelined, COVID-19, people are still dying, Brexit. But no, the ambition tonight is to inflict maximum political damage. Leo knows only too well that he would have done things differently. He has acknowledged that. But to hear this nonsense tonight talking about insiders and cosy clubs is nothing short of a mockery. A deal to include all GPs in a, con in a contract GPs who look after the old, the young and the sick. Leo wanted to get things done. That was his motivation. And Sinn Féin do not have a monopoly on helping people. And while the NA GP were outside the gates of Leinster House, Sinn Féin were there with them, roaring and shouting at the government to come up with a solution. Unfortunately, the politics we are witnessing here tonight will continue to be the narrow, divisive and disruptive politics in the period ahead. This will be the continuation of the roaring and the shouting, and it will be fractious. Sinn Féin will be 100% right 100% of the time, and will continue to accuse the government of being 100% wrong 100% 100 of the time. And Mary Lou, in her tweet just yesterday or the day before, on about the old boys network. Well, the reason we are having this debate tonight is because of the old boys network around a monitor up somewhere in Belfast tonight. They have decided to use our valuable time in the interest of power. And they have sidelined the important issues of tonight. And Pierce. Doherty, who got elected 10 years ago this month, will continue with your shouting and roaring with nothing to show for it, Pierce. But you can do all the shouting and roaring that you want. You will not be making the decisions. It will be the boys in the old boys' network around the monitor in Belfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah.